Today, I took one trade and it netted me $2,400. And today, I'm gonna break down my strategy and show you exactly how I did it. My name is Nate Tries to Trade, and this is today's trading recap. On the day, we noticed that we are in a bit of a downtrend, right? If we look on the five minute time frame here, you can see that we were in an uptrend. We broke through VWAP, popped it back up, and then we flushed through it again. Uh, but my strategy really remains on the one minute time frame. So I started watching the market right about here, okay? Here's what I kind of saw that led me to take this trade. We see this push down, we see this bounce up, and we see a little bit of a, we see a little bit of a support zone right here. We've touched this support zone three times now, and I'm looking at this, I'm like, man, I don't really like that. Here's what I was super interested in. What you can see is a bunch of aggressive buying off this level, generally. When we come back to it again, we start seeing a lot of sellers adding up right here which makes me say, okay, so let's maybe look at going short. So what I did was I waited for a flat bottom candlestick, which we got right here. And I generally didn't really like this candlestick too much. And the reason is, is we, we are in this support zone, but we did start to see sellers starting to uh, come up a little bit. So I saw a bit of a higher volume flush through the support. I was hoping was that we would get a fairly quick retest of this area right here, which is where I put my entry. We ended up getting it, so I put my stop loss above the entry candle here, and I held for a two to one risk to reward ratio. Now, I know I could have held on to it a lot longer, but here's the deal. It doesn't go with my plan to hold a trade longer than a one to two risk to reward ratio. Really something that I've been finding with myself recently is that I'm closing out of trades way too early. So what I am gonna start doing is setting my stop loss and my take profit up at a two to one and just walking away from the trade and not looking at the chart until I hear the order filled thing ding in so that's exactly what i did today you know i am my own worst enemy when it comes to trading and holding on to a winning trade is really hard for me to do and holding on to a losing trade is really easy for me to do i found that setting my take profit and stop loss is going to be something that can help me maximize my uh, winning trades and my losing trades. Cause last week, uh, the losing trades that I did have, half of them would have ended up going to my one to two risk to reward ratio had I not messed with my take profits or my stop losses at all. So that's something that I'm gonna tweak, tweak it on my strategy a little bit, but this concludes the end of the video. I really hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and I will catch you for tomorrow's recap. Have a good day, bye.